This is James and Mike with Event One Software. So I'm going to introduce Mike Newlin is the president of Event One Software, co-founder, and also a product manager for the products that your Office Connector products and uh, Liberty Reports, what have you. So Office Connector Financials released in September. Um, we have a number of folks who are have bought it, bought it and are using it. I think what you're about to see, if you haven't already seen it, you're going to find it's extraordinary in its ability to produce Excel-based financials that have graphical elements, qualities that I think uh, most customers, uh, when they see it, um, are really excited. At the summit conference, I showed it to five companies, two construction, three property management companies, and at the end of showing it, I think about 10 minutes, they were all ready to, to buy it. So obviously there's a lot here, I think, it, and uh, we want you to be able to be comfortable with it and be able to utilize this. Not only is it an opportunity to uh, for a sale for a company um, and an opportunity if it works, it fulfills uh, our promise that it's a great for customer retention, but it would be a fantastic revenue source for you all. So we're really happy that you all enjoyed or joined our, our presentation. We hope you enjoy it. And with that, I'm going to uh, turn it over to Mike Dillon. Mike? Thanks, James. Um, that, that saved me from making that kind of an introduction, so I appreciate that. Um, everyone should be able to see my screen. Um, right now, it's just a PowerPoint slide that says Office Connector Financials. Uh, if anyone can't see that, please uh, chime in or let us know. Uh, otherwise, uh, as James indicated, please keep uh, keep yourself on, on mute uh, during the call uh, until there's a time to ask questions and whatnot. And that'll kind of keep the, the background noise uh, under control. Um, all right, so I want to go ahead and present what the agenda is for, for the training. And there's kind of five main parts to this. The uh, introduction I want to do is basically just going to kind of cover what this product is all, is all about. Uh, so you know how it's different than what's already available to you uh, with with Office Connector or even with the financial statement designer that's part of Stage. Uh, then we'll cover these five parts to um, uh, to knowing how to build reports in in Excel using this tool. Some of these topics are going to cover some aspects that you might already be familiar with if you currently work with Office Connector, uh, but in, there may be cases where there is some new information even so, and so. Um, so that's the agenda. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, start with an introduction. So when we talk about what Office Connector Financial is, in short, it's Excel-based financial reporting. I'll talk more about that here in just a second. Um, basically, uh, it is an extension to the Office Connector uh, query license. And so we're going to cover... We're going to cover these aspects of the first part, Excel-based financial reporting. I have a slide on, on, on that to show. And this is just kind of at a high level. So oops, the right path there. this is just kind of at a high level, uh, picturing some of the types of output you might be able to accomplish. Um, when we think of financial statements out of page 300, uh, historically, you know, it's, it's the output you get from the financial statements designer, which is, uh, text-based, there's no graphics involved. Your presentation uh, capabilities are, are what they are. Um, with Excel, of course, you can do a lot. You can you can apply lots of formatting, charts and graphs and what have you. So this is kind of what we're looking at in terms of what the deliverable is. That the user can the user or the consultant uh, can create a very um, compelling, uh, visually attractive, uh, useful financial report. Um, to function the way they want. <clears throat> so again, this is Excel-based financial reporting. It's an extension to Office Connector Query. So what that means is that for someone to use this, they would have to have either Office Connector Query Designer or Office Connector Query Standard with one license of one of those two products. And then this is a function that can be enabled for that license. It's not free, so the customer would have to purchase uh, that capability but it's one price, 
that enables that capability for however many query licenses they have. So it's a flat rate, and that enables it for however many concurrencies. Uh, so again, it's just an extension to an existing product, not really a standalone product itself. Uh, what that delivers then is a set of additional Excel worksheet functions that we'll talk about in a, in a moment um, that allows you to pull in various kinds of financial information into your worksheet. Okay, but also, uh, um, it also includes some pre-built financial statement designs. Um, there are actually six that are packaged with the software. And even if you install Office Connector uh, normally at this point with the current version, even if you don't have the financial statements function enabled, you'll still see those six reports on your menu. They'll still be listed on the Office Connector launchpad uh, that just won't return data until that function is uh, is enabled. Um, I'll just kind of step through these real quick, and then I'll show you where there's some additional information about these reports. I'm not really going to do a deep dive into these individual reports because there's plenty of information already out there about them. Uh, plus, uh, if you have or when you have your license of, of financials to work with, you'll be able to explore these reports on your own as well. Uh, so just kind of covering this from top to bottom real quick, uh, we have a side-by-side -side identity comparison. A lot of these are shown in separate columns, different companies, departments, or divisions. Um, in, in each one of these cases, we're trying to also highlight something that is unique about doing this within Excel. So uh, in this case, uh, being able to show the comparison of a set of entities in a pie chart. Not something you'd ordinarily be able to do unless you're working with your data uh, in a tool like Excel. Uh, financial statements with drill down. This is a pretty standard format for a balance sheet income statement, uh, but with added ability of, of leveraging the drill down capability that's in Office Connector already. Do a double click on a value and see the underlying transactions. Uh, multi data folder. So again, we're highlighting a unique building in that uh, if a customer has multiple data folders um, and they want to be able to consolidate numbers across those folders, well, we can accomplish that with this tool. <clears throat> then we have a couple that rely on pivot tables. And this is kind of interesting to, uh, to note, and I'd encourage you to play with this as well, uh, because what we're doing here is we're, we're pulling in financial data using uh, the functions we're going to be going over, but then we're we're kind of turning it, turning it over to the user, in essence, to be able to sort of drag and drop fields uh, to represent different columns and rows they might want to see to create a, a summary sheet. Uh, so there's lots of different things you could do with that. And then the last one is a profit and loss statement uh, with a separate column for each month. And of course, you can do that already with, with a financial statement designer. The thing that makes this unique is the trend line. So we're graphing the change uh, from month to month, and, that, and you can see that graph for any individual account or subtotal on the on the statement. Okay. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and jump momentarily out of the PowerPoint and um, start to introduce you to some places where you can get more information on stuff like this, yeah, and then after that, we'll we'll kind of dive. In dive into the details a little bit more. So if I go into the um, Event One software website um, and I go to the products menu, office connector, and then financials, <clears throat> here what you'll find is all the information about the product. Um, there are a couple of videos out here as well. Um, if you haven't looked at these yet, I, I would encourage you to do that. Uh, also, you can share those links, of course, with customers that might be interested. There's some PDFs out here as well that kind of do some, some comparisons um, relative to um, there being now two financial statement uh, design tools available for Stage 300. One is the built-in tool, um, and the other one is Office Bank for Financial. It kind of looks at the, the feature comparison between the two. Um, and then how this compares to Office Bank throughout the gate. So I want to scroll on down through this information. We're not going to spend our time right now reading through all of this, but uh, I'll come down here to the pre-built templates. And so for any one of these, uh, I can click on the Read More link. And this is where you can get some, some more information about, um, about these individual 
pre-built financial statements. I'm not going to take the time to to uh, run each one of these, but to give you an idea of what these look like. Um, so here's here's our entity comparison with the different prefix or entity in in, in, in each different column. And with the ability to take any line in that statement and drop in the pie chart. So, again, just leveraging stuff we can do in Excel uh, with, with that data. All right. Let's close back on that. So, hopefully, that provides kind of an overview, at least, of kind of what we're trying to accomplish with this. Um, Looking next at where where you're going to see this functionality um, is, of course, Office Connector is an add-in to Excel, so you're going to find the, the functionality that you need to build statements with, within Excel, uh, specifically on the Office Connector toolbar. So if you go to the add-ins tab, and you'll see there's a few toolbars stacked up here. The longer one, of course, is Office Connector Query and Write, and specifically uh, in, in this training session today, we're going to be using a couple of different um, tools on that toolbar. One is going to be simply um, the Query Wizard button, which we'll use to create some simple account lists. We're not going to really do anything in depth with that, but just get some list of accounts. And the other tool we're going to use is the Function Selector. And that's an, a new feature we added a few few versions back. Uh, the purpose of that is that we, we found that there, there are actually a number of different functions in Office Connector, and they weren't really getting exposure. People didn't know about them because they weren't on the toolbar. And so uh, this function selector uh, addresses that. When you click that, what you're going to see is a list of all of the different functions that are available to you uh, with Office Connector installed. And this provides some documentation as well. So when you click on a function in the list, um, you'll see the content area show the help on that function. And then more specifically, there's this set of financial specific functions, which we're going to be talking about today. So that's basically how you'll access um, the, the uh, financial functions and, and, the, and the documentation on the functions as well. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm in, in, into kind of the how it works part of the introduction. And Again, I'm going to keep this kind of high level, and we'll take a deeper dive into it as we go. But uh, basically, the, the, the core function that you're going to use for any financial statement values or, or, or designs is going to be the TS GL amount function. Now, of course, we prefixed it with TS because that's kind of dating back to uh, you know, 2001, 2002, when the product was first built, and it was Timberland software, and we had no idea that it was going to become page 200 in the future, but... For consistency, uh, we're, we're keeping the prefix as TS uh, for consistency with other Office Connector functions. So it's TS, GL amount. And you'll notice that this function allows me to, to pass in uh, a variety of different uh, arguments uh, that specify prefixes, base accounts, fiscal year, et cetera. And then when that function gets evaluated, it returns, of course, the desired financial value. So we're going to be taking a closer look at, at how that works. Well, that's in essence how it works. In, in essence, what we're doing. In terms of um, why we decided that it was necessary to build a whole separate function for that, um, my expectation is, since we're all components here on the line, um, it, it's pretty well understood what the, what the data structure is in general ledger in that if we want to roll back X number of periods, you have to start with, you know, the current balance of the account, and then you subtract current period activity, you subtract prior one, prior two, et cetera, until you get back to the period that you want to roll back to. So there's a fair number of math operations that could be involved if you're just trying to do this with, with the raw data, which you can do, um, but as you could expect, that could be rather tedious, uh, depending on, on how, far, how far back you're trying to, to roll back your data. Also, if you're rolling back over over a fiscal year boundary, uh, there could be additional logic that you have to build into that. <clears throat> and then add to that the, just the compounded logic of, of saying, okay, well, now what, what happens if I want to consolidate, um, say, companies 21 and 22 together? Well, now to do that 
otherwise and have to make sure to add those numbers together as well as to the rollbacks. And so it just gets even more tedious and complicated to try and come up with a desired value. Uh, that's the part that we're trying to make it very, very simple in this case. So we're simply identifying the year and period, prefix and base account, with a spot to identify what type of value, and then it does all the work of, of navigating your uh, prefix structure, determining what your current period is, looking at what period you want, determining how many periods back that is or, or forward, and then doing the necessary math to get there. So it's handling all of the work for you in terms of that. 